hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer i've made videos before where i say that at the end of the day everybody is free to make their choice in life they're free to decide whatever they want to do with their lives but the truth is this when a particular thing is being sold to the public or something is being presented to the public in the way that is not actually the truth something is basically being sold to the to the public you know because it's there in public anyone that sees otherwise anyone that sees the dangers involved anyone that sees reasons to warn people that is not as rosy as you think or anyone that's you know has an opinion that should that would help other young ladies to think twice about it it's free to come out and speak about it so that at the end of the day our young girls that are looking at these pictures we're just basically providing them with information that can help them make a decision at the end of the day it's still their decision but it's just about creating a balance to help a lot of people realize all that glitters is not gold unfortunately we come from a society that there's so much poverty that does not help everything in life is all about money i've never said money is not good but money is not everything because if money was everything you will not hear of millionaires billionaires rich people that have jumped from the top of their mansions and ended their own lives that is to show you that if money was everything the rich will not also cry i just want to address some some recent developments that um i personally i i see them as complete embarrassment you know and i feel that at the end of the day this girl regina daniels is too young for this embarrassment the, that this their husband because i said it before is not her husband because they are more than one so it's their husband you know is a you know the public embarrassment he's bringing on to her i'm just gonna quickly say for those that do not know there's a girl called regina daniels i think she's at this point 20 year old maybe 21 by now i don't know and she's married to this man that is uh, 40 years older than her i've already said that age gap marriages personally i don't you know i don't frown at it but i would typically advise not to go for too much gap but my biggest thing that i want young girls about i want people about is the idea of sharing a husband with other people like you know like the term communal husband the husband that belongs to several women um i, I personally don't see any glory in that um coming to this public embarrassment the mother came out and said that um her daughter found love the small girl come and conquer and give her and say then first and enter the marriage now love who? i mean maybe my man not get the right to tell and say come no love but their husband just came out and debunked that, if I can use the word debunked. Our marriage is based on um, understanding and uh, respect. And, and you see Regina making videos about the love, love and all of those things. He never said a single thing about love. He never said he loves her. You know why that is embarrassing? Because it has countered all this her coming out and claim love, love, love. And, um, and her mother saying the daughter said she found love. Our marriage is based on... Um, understanding and uh, respect we are meant to treat people in our lives with respect and understanding you get me even your gate man your house girl driver whoever we are meant to deal with everybody with respect and understanding and this is how the man describes his so-called marriage to this young girl you know at the end of the day she can come on social media and post all these pictures and pose and post all these pictures and looking all lovey-dovey or whatever at the end of the day the truth is that she's too young to be dealing with this public embarrassment in this interview he said that he married her after three weeks you know at that time that girl was still i think 19 at that point to think that a full grown man would marry a little girl within three weeks she was too young to make that big decision another thing that i feel like is embarrassing is that the man also confirmed that it was the girl's mother that brought this girl to her and introduced her to him um, i met her the first time when she came to my house with her mother people have been speculating about this for the longest time that the mother is the one that organized this thing and the man basically made it public that the girl's mother is the one that brought this girl and introduced her to him he basically made it clear that he, he's he's planning to have more wives because he wants to have more children so whether i marry another wife or not is uh, it, uh, she knows it can happen i love children so i want more children and she knows this and my other wives they also know it in everything he said about this girl he never mentioned the word love the only time he said the word love was when he talked about he loves children 
So the reason he's going to marry more wives is because he loves children. So at the end of the day, he's acquiring these women as commodities. Basically, they're acquiring these women to come and have more children. That's all. So it's not a love relationship. It's not a love relationship. Something else this man said. Um, one is do everywhere. Um, one is do everywhere. That's why at night, a lot of them know zone four, zone five, zone six. As na fabo ashawo, obra kufa na na facho ima ashawo obna economy the the adro good for them. So you see, an average natana marrying two, three, four. They're helping the women. They're helping the society. This man actually spent time trying to explain basically that he's doing these women a favor because there are a lot of women out there. He said she knows it can happen as if she knows he can marry another wife. You know, a lot of people think this girl is strong. You know, this girl is all loved up. This girl is living her best life, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you, the day this man brings in another girl into the house, you would actually know that this girl is too young to handle what is in front of her. He's way too young for what she got herself involved in. He said she knows it. And my other wives, they all know it. They know that they are just there to produce babies. He said that, um, you know, the northerners that are marrying several wives, that they are helping the women. They are helping society. Basically, he's explaining that by him marrying more women, he's helping these women. He's helping society. Let's be honest. How many women will be proud to hear their husband talk about marrying them like this? If you hear your husband say that he married you to help you, how would you feel? Let's be honest. This is embarrassing. You know, he even went on to talk about prostitutes that, you know, because of economic problems, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this, is, this is basically what he's saying. So he's buying these women out of poverty. He's not, for, he's not marrying them because he fell in love with them. He sees them as people I'm doing a favor. You know another thing that's embarrassing? There's a picture that just started circulating now of this man with another woman. You, under normal circumstance, if a woman sees the picture of her husband like this on social media, she will call him and say, ah, what's going on? Oh yeah, dear. Who is she? But when you are marrying a man that belongs to several of you, how do you question him and ask him what is going on? What kind of a life is this? Regina can be posing and be claiming my husband, my husband. There is no way she's going to, at her age especially, she's going to be seeing all these pictures going around of her husband with another woman, a new one, and then she's going to be proud. You know, there was a time the rumor, rumor was spreading all over social media that the husband was marrying this other woman. You know, sometimes she, claim, she tries to claim that she does not care or it does not matter, the rumors. But she has addressed a lot of rumors that shows that she does listen. She does care. And I believe it bothers her. She has got into something that is way bigger than her. The other time there was rumor of this other lady that she, eventually it was believed that that lady was uh, a girl that she, maybe her, uh, her follower or something on social media that lives abroad and then she invited the girl to come over and the girl came over and she went everywhere with the girl oh, claiming, oh, she's my friend, she's my friend. People then said, this is a new wife. She made a post saying, that's not my husband, she's not my husband's wife. She addressed that rumor. She addressed it. So now it, it means it bothered her. Like, let's be honest. Women are jealous by nature. No woman is going to say that you will see all these pictures with your husband, with another man. How then do you come out and be acting this special lady in the life of my husband when there are several of you? Several of you at such young age, you have to deal with this. Because nowadays, sometimes you say, is it something photoshopped? It doesn't look photoshopped to me. If it's not photoshopped, there is no way you would tell me that a young girl as Regina Daniels will see a picture like this and look and go go home and, and, and look at her husband and smile at him and be happy about this. If it's photoshopped, it is still too much for a young girl to be going through all this rumor today, your husband with, with this woman, your husband with that woman, and the man has already said it, that he's going to marry again. He's already said it, that he can marry again. He made it clear that he can, you know. You know, I've said it before. I said, if a man feels like he needs to marry someone else on top of you, he is basically telling you that you're not enough. Some people argued with that statement. Have I not been proven right? When the man has said that he wants more children. One woman is not enough for him because he wants a lot of children. And, he, you know, he needs more women to produce more of these children. For him, it is about bring you guys to come and have more children. That's it. So somebody can say, I don't need love. I only need money. And then when they get inside, they realize that they need love. Coming back to that word embarrassment, this girl is too young for all this embarrassment. I have seen 
people making posts and asking the question of how do they do it? Do you do threesomes? Do you do this? Do you do that? Like that's embarrassing. It is, there's no way you would not say that is embarrassing. Take a second and think that people are imagining your husband with several of you wives at the same time on one bed. It is embarrassing. She is way too young for this embarrassing whole setup. Way too young. Whether they do it that way or they take turns, it is embarrassing to even think that people's minds are actually imagining stuff like that about your marriage. My advice for these ladies that are already married to this man is they should start saving. You know, start saving so that the day you really feel fed up that you can't do this anymore, you already established yourself in a way. And make sure all these things, they're buying you stuff, whatever this kind of a man is buying you, make sure they are, he's buying them in your name so that when you decide that you are done, at least you're not going to walk away empty-handed. That, that's one big advice I have for people that have already put their head into situations like this. You know, there's a new woman now going around social media. She, they say she's from Zambia. They're saying whether it's his girlfriend or a wife or a wife-to-be. She may come out on social media and smile and all of those things. You have no clue if her life is truly happy on the inside. Don't always go by what you see on social media. That girl is way too young for what she got herself involved in. There was nothing romantic about what he said. He basically said, I saw her, I liked her. In three weeks, I married her. Does that not, is that not embarrassing? That it makes her look so cheap and easy. Within three weeks, I liked her, that's it. And I doubt that he ever said to her, I'm in love with you. I don't know why. I, I do. The way he sounds, he doesn't sound like someone that said, oh, I, I'm in love with you or anything like that. He's just going to be like, yeah, you know, come here on Friday, we'll do a wedding. At the end of the day, my point is this. Any of you that are watching all these things going on on social media, do not be deceived. Do not be carried away. Some people smile in public but cry in private. And money is not everything. If money was everything, why do the rich also cry? And I'm praying for anybody that is watching this that, you know, may God provide for you to be able to educate your children, your daughters, and bring them to a position where they are going to be so financially independent and have self-respect and dignity to know that they deserve more. I'm doing this video for any young girl that have been looking at what is happening on social media and is carried away by the razzle-dazzle. My video is not telling you what to do do with your life but it's advising you to realize that life is more than money and that not everything that glitters is gold and with that i'm going to say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye